Uh, hey YouTube and welcome to this tutorial on how to do arm bends. In today I'll basically uh, teach you how to do arm bends that look like this. It looks awesome, eh? It looks awesome. And basically, this is how you do it. So first of all, you want uh, you gotta have Anime Studio Pro because you have to run a script for this. Um, there are other arm rigs online. Make sure you visit the Lost Marble Farm. Um, there, um, they do have a lot of arm bend techniques. If you don't know any or you can't find them, just uh, post a um, post a post a post. Does that make sense? Anyways, uh, but if you do have Anime Studio Pro, you can take advantage of the script feature and you can download the script. It's called Instant Limb, and save it to the menu folder and um, create a, just a random folder on inside the menu folder. I called my custom and I downloaded it um, into the custom folder and it's right there, instant limb. So if you click it, it should create an instant limb, like an arm or leg. But before we run the script, we gotta do some things because if we click it now, it's gonna say no apparent skeleton found and after that, once we do make a skeleton, it's gonna come with a bunch of other errors. So first of all, you wanna go to, uh, you wanna create a new bone layer, put the vector layer inside the bone layer by dragging it in and it should highlight red then you just let go and boom it's inside now you probably notice on the vector layer and on the bone layer the, cen uh, the center the origin uh, remains the same now you always want to um, you always want the bone and the vector layers origin to be exactly the same um, after you rig it it doesn't matter but before you rig it you want it to be in the exact same place so don't move it don't translate it uh, don't use the translate tool on this, just leave it alone. And basically now you just want to go to the vector layer, I mean the bone layer, and you want to go to the add a new bone tool, and you want to click on the, oops, you want to click on the middle of the cross right there. And you want to drag it down and it's going to create a bone right in the middle of the cross. Then right below it, um, you're going to create another bone. Make sure it's a straight line. And it doesn't curve or bend in other ways, like this or like that. Don't do that. Make sure you always keep it as a straight line if you want this to work properly. So now we're just going to move this bone layer up a bit um, so it can be visible in the camera. And we're going to go. Uh, we're going to first go to the uh, vector layer. Then we're going to go to scripts. Then we're going to go to whatever whatever folder that you saved it in and click on instant link. Right off the bat, you'll notice it comes with a bunch of options. Now, on these options, um, right now we can just ignore all these options, and um, on your own, you can explore these around, and uh, you can adjust, also adjust the line width and distance between joint cross sections. Basically, this um, when you if you can put this at zero, but then later on, if you want to change the color of the arm, it'll be very hard to do it because there'll be a very small little line there with a the white. It'll be just it'll, it won't look good so make sure you just leave that as a default don't even touch it and I mean you can make it bigger but don't make it really small that's what she said no, I'm just kidding so um there are also there are other options there for creating if you want to create an arm or a leg or fill gaps in joint but right now we're just gonna leave everything to the default click OK and there we have an arm and um, we're gonna go to the bone there and click on the translate tool and right off the bat you'll notice it looks pretty and that's how you make an arm. Now there's one disadvantage to this um, is once you cr uh, once you make it um, oops once you make it this like this, if you keep on going. Ah, oh, what the hell? You know, it, it goes messed up. But most of the time on your animation, you won't need to do that as the human arm doesn't really do this either. Uh, and also another thing is this can be fixed but some people want to keep it this way is let's say on frame 6 you want the arm to move like this now if you watch it you'll probably notice this arm moves but this bone also kind of moves with it now let's say you don't want this to move because sometimes uh, it might move like that and uh, it just gets everywhere like, it's really hard to animate and basically the way to do this is by creating another bone. Now you just want to click on either one of these two bones and if, in this case I'm just going to press this but you can also click on that bone, it doesn't really matter. For me I'm just going to click on the top bone. Now you're going to make a very small bone or a big bone and you, um, okay, well, how come, I don't know why but everything I see sounds pretty wrong. I'm just sticking my, um, 
but um, you're just going to create a small or a big bone or any size bone you want and you're going to put it anywhere around the screen um, just maybe um, for me I'm just going to keep it beside the bone but again it doesn't it doesn't really matter um, by doing this um, I don't really know I just learned this like when I was using anime studio like a couple of years ago I guess it has something to do with parenting but this prevents the top bone to be moving um, this so it prevents the top bone to be moved while moving this bone. Does that make sense? Okay. So yeah, that's how you do it. And um, basically, that's a really cool arm ring that you can do for your cartoons. Um, I kind of found this um, script a while ago, so I didn't really have a um, chance to make a cartoon with using this script. But in the future, I definitely will, and I'm pretty much going to implant this to the cartoon Greek Gods. Uh, for the future characters I'm gonna make in that cartoon. So yeah, all the credit goes to the guy who made this. Unfortunately, I forgot again, so I'll be appearing somewhere on the screen. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and make sure you visit the website meltatoons.com as it does have behind-the-scenes content such as you know these photos and this picture of the studio and blah. So make sure you go to meltatoons.com and make sure you subscribe, click like, possibly favorite this video, but make sure you leave a comment below and if you have any more questions leave a comment below again to ask me whatever anime studio questions you have or flash questions tomb boom questions any question you want related to animation so yeah thanks for watching guys and see you later